Hello and welcome. In this educational aid, we are going to talk about the two-body equation of motion. The two-body equation of motion is an equation that allows us to relate the motion of an object or a body or a satellite around another object or body such as the Earth. As we discuss the two-body equation of motion, we are going to leverage material covered in other educational aids, specifically from the Kepler, Newton, and gravity educational aids. To properly cover this topic, we have a great opportunity to use some math and show off equations. But Unfortunately, we're going to keep it simple. Now, let's look at that equation a little closer and apply it to our two bodies, the Earth and a satellite orbiting the Earth. So the force of gravity acting on a satellite is equal to the negative g, the gravitational constant, times the mass of the Earth, times the mass of the satellite, all divided by the distance between the center of the Earth and the satellite squared. Now recall from Newton's second law, we were able to represent this all mathematically as F equals MA when the mass of the satellite is not changing. Using this simplified version of the second law, we can also state the force acting on the satellite is equal to the mass of the satellite times the acceleration of the satellite. Since both these equations gives us force, we can set them equal to each other. This results in the mass of the satellite times the acceleration of the satellite is equal to the negative of the gravitational constant times the mass of the Earth times the mass of the satellite, all divided by the distance between the center of the Earth and the satellite squared. Since the mass of the satellite is on both sides of the equal sign, we can cancel them out and the equation is further reduced. Now we have the acceleration of the satellite is equal to the negative of the gravitational constant times the mass of the Earth divided by the distance between the center of the Earth and the satellite squared. Note, acceleration and distance are vectors, so the resulting two-body equation of motion really looks like this. Also, by deriving the two-body equation of motion, we made three assumptions. The first assumption, the Earth is a uniformly dense sphere meaning that the force of gravity acting on the satellite is constant at a given altitude, anywhere around the Earth, and always directed towards the exact center of the Earth. As we covered in the orbit types educational aid, we know this is not true. The second assumption is that the satellite does not pull the Earth. We made the same assumption on the Newton educational aid. Since the mass of the Earth is so much greater than the mass of the satellite that the satellite's pull does not move the center of the Earth, it could be ignored. This is a valid assumption. And the third assumption is that the force of gravity from the Earth is the only force acting on the satellite. This is not true, but it is the greatest force acting on the satellite. Additionally, there's atmospheric drag that acts on satellites. So, some third body effects are the gravitational forces of the moon and the sun and drag. Each affects satellites in orbit. However, these forces are much less than the force of gravity created by the Earth. Therefore, we can ignore those forces and we can use the two body equation of motion. So now we have this two body equation of motion and we understand the simplifying assumptions that went into it, but what does it mean? And why is it important? Well, this equation allows us to accurately describe orbits and proves Kepler's laws, such as all orbits are ellipses, and we use Newton's laws to derive this equation. Additionally, to accurately solve the two-body equation of motion, we must know six initial conditions, which are the classical orbital elements. The two-body equation of motion ties all the foundational knowledge of orbits, which are covered in this series of educational aids, into one single equation. Well, that is it on the two-body equation of motion. I am Jeremy Brown with the National Security Space Institute, and I hope you enjoyed this educational aid.